Well, I needed logos. I was in a different position in the company and I needed logos and no one knew how to get onto the dam. So I did some research. I realized a larger need for asset management. I actually contacted the creative director at the time and asked a little more information about it and we made it a full-time position. So I managed the dam for the global creative team. Before I took over the role, no one knew how to use the dam. There's no file naming convention at the time for any of the assets. There was no way to readily get to them. Access was all over the place. Uh, and now we have a file naming convention for most of the assets. The roles are dedicated to specific types of users. Sales reps were sending retailers everything. And when you have global retailers, that's a lot of work that could be focused differently. So now sales reps are actually more comfortable sending the retailer to the dam for the assets that they're looking for. We're able to now show what retailers are downloading, when they're downloading them, as well as we're allowing the sales reps to get assets out to specific retailers if they haven't been publicly released. Brand is everything. It's your image. It's exactly who you are and how you want to be seen by your market. So the primary asset that we utilize the dam for is product shots. So these are high resolution images of all the products we make, whether it's footwear, um, apparel, run bras, all of the assets on brooksrunning.com. Uh, we also have product videos. All of our videos correlate with a product. So not only is somebody able to access a product video, they're also able to pull the product shots then and they know that they are in the same spot. The primary users, so they're divided into retailers, big box stores, we have sales reps, we have the e-com team, all of marketing does. So when we have events, we have a whole section on the dam that assets can be pulled from for those events specifically. We're able to designate regions for assets. So we have some products that are only available in certain regions in the globe versus some products that are available globally. They only see what they are actually able to sell in country. I think last year we had 30,000 assets put on um, and it really does help justify that this is a this is a nice software to have because if you can imagine going through 30,000 assets and that's just in one year and trying to find something it could get a little crazy without the the organization of things the customer service that widen provides is unparalleled. I can email anytime, I can ask questions, I can go online during the day and talk with support. It's really, really important because a lot of this software, you could look at it and it's a bit of a blank slate to some degree and customizing it is there, but how do you do it? So being able to utilize the customer service provided from Widen has really helped keep the product around as well as grow it.